Hey, what's up, everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight, I'm comparing these two waters. These are both Aqua Filete waters, and these are both 750 milliliter glass bottles. And the difference between these two is that this one is a still version, and this one is a very sparkling version. So obviously, these are from the same company and same source. They're both from Italy. They're from a spring that is 900 meters above sea level, and these are both known for being like having a very low mineral content, a very low TDS. Their TDS is 209 uh, milligrams, so that's a very low TDS. If it's like below 50, I think it's considered uh, like distilled. So this is 250. Some of some TDSs go up to like I don't know 1,500. So this is a pretty low, relatively low TDS, and. Um, I don't have much else to say about them. I'm gonna start off by just opening them up and uh, drinking them. Um, they're like a very nice bottle though. I like, guess it's like a wine or champagne bottle almost. And they have like a wrap around the, the lid. Just like a fancy champagne bottle. The one I'm opening right now is the very sparkling version. On their website they also say they have a mild sparkling version. And maybe I should have gotten that because I tend to prefer less sparkling waters. And here is the still one. Very fancy, very uh, very good packaging for a bottle of water. You can see it kind of has a compass sort of looking thing on the lid. That's just part of the cover. You take this off and the real lid has nothing on it. Feels like a plasticky lid, but it's still good quality glass on everything else. And these were both $3.99 from salaciousdrinks.com. Uh, if you buy them from Aqua Filetti's real website, uh, they're very expensive. It's like $50 per case. But it's $3.99 from Salacious Drinks, plus shipping. So it's still kind of expensive, but a lot less. No smell. Kind of a uh, sweet taste to it. Like not salty at all. Very low um, sodium in it. And this is, this says it's very sparkling, so I'm kind of nervous. I've got a towel, a little rag ready in case it kind of explodes. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, there you go. That was that was not that bad. A little bit squirted out the sides, but it's not not that bad. And you can see it's still bubbling up a little bit, which is one thing I don't like about sparkling waters. <laughs> like imagine if you were hiking all day and then you wanted to drink some sparkling water at the top of the mountain, you you inevitably be shaking it all day and have to kind of create a mess it's kind of a one of those quick bubbles like it's like it hits your tongue and it's like a strong bubbly taste but then it goes away right away it's kind of a, an interesting it's an interesting one kind of like a sprite but without the sugar so on the bottles they say that this is from 1894 but if you look at the website, it says that the spring actually dates back to 400 BC, and it was known by the Romans. And it's a, just an old spring, and they say there are historical records of it being 400 BC, of it being around. And this is the description on Salacious Drinks says Aqua Filete is one of Italy's purest waters. It has an astonishingly low level of mineral content. Its origins are from Cicciorno, a 900 meter above sea level source in the Apatine Mountains in Lizio region, bottled and distributed since 1894. And yeah, let's finish them up some good water yeah I'm pretty sure this is made to be sipped on not chugged just because it has such a high you know amount of carbonation 
And I should point out that the carbonation in this is fake. It even says on the bottle itself, it says, this is just spring water and they added the carbonation. It's not naturally occurring carbonation. If you look at the nutritional information on the back, it's zeros for every single thing. Zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugar, zero sodium. And when these when these say zero calories and zero sodium, I think it just mean it means it meets the legal definition for it being zero. Like if it's zero point zero 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 one percent sodium, I think it, it is legal for them to just say zero percent sodium. Uh, okay, let's test out the pH level. Here we go. All right, here's the pH level that's sparkling on the left and still on the right. They look a tiny bit different, don't they? I'm colorblind, so you guys look at the chart yourself and compare. But what do you guys think? Sparkling, still. It says in 1933 it was awarded the Tripoli International Fair. I don't really know what that is, but that was something it was awarded. And I don't really have much else to say about it. I'm just going to finish them up and pick a winner. I am kind of surprised how easily this sparkling water went down. I'm normally not a big fan of the sparkling waters, but this is pretty big. And it just, you know, went down pretty easily for me. So, I mean, that alone is kind of a thumbs up for a sparkling water. Martin Rees, the famed water reviewer, did a review of these and had a... You know, mostly positive things to say about it, and he uh, mainly commented on the low TDS, which is the the main thing about this water. And if you go to their YouTube page, it's mainly just them talking about like the design of the bottle and just how it looks like champagne and how it's fancy, because it really is a nice bottle. Like, has the shiny text with a matte outline. <laughs> Excuse me. A small complaint is just how similar they look. It's very easy to confuse these as being the same. You know, water, even though one is sparkling and one is still. Okay, I'm going to say that the winner is still one. If you're familiar with my channel, you probably know that already. I just prefer still waters in general. And the decision just comes down to my own personal preference. So the still one is moving on to the next round. It's kind of got like a mild glass taste to it. Um... A lot of people say glass doesn't have a taste, but I think it does. I can taste glass, I can taste metal bottles. Just like a slight thing, and uh, you only really notice it if you're looking for it, but um, it is there. Uh, sorry I haven't done a review in a while. Um, it's been over 100 episodes since I've done a water review. Um, I've been dating somebody, that girl in that picture behind me, uh, Caitlin. It's just a girl I really like, and I've been busy hanging out with her. To, uh, to water reviews lately. Uh, I'm still going to keep doing them. I love doing the water reviews, but uh, I might be doing them less frequently, though, just because I'm busy with hanging out with her. So, um, congratulations, the still version. You're moving on to the next round, and thanks for watching, everyone.